creatures from the vlog here. And creatures from the vlog is vlogging from an undisclosed location. Just kidding, guys. It's me. Hey, so I haven't vlogged in two weeks because I don't want to be reposting on the vlog all next to each other. But I'm going to tell you how this has been. So, uh, not this past Monday, but the Monday before, CJ Pasco, um, author and sociologist, came to our school. And for one, she was really nice and gave this cool presentation. Um, it was on bullying, but not in like a really like cheesy, we're going to talk about bullying in a school kind of way, like in a sociological perspective. So after that, she was like taking questions and stuff, and I sat with girls from the rugby team, and the one asked a question, and she like was really willing to talk to her and everything. So I really appreciate it. And then she signed our books for us. And then what was really interesting about last week is I went to, or this past weekend, I went to Savannah. So I only found out on Monday that I could go. Um, if I applied for this job and I was afraid, if, you know, if I got the job, I wouldn't be able to go to Savannah. But I, I didn't get the job. So I went and we uh, started off, we left here at like 7 on Thursday and we got there at like 9.15 on Friday, which seems like a really long drive. But it should be a 16-hour drive, and we made it into a 14-hour drive um, with some interesting speedy driving. And, hi. What? Finish? You're going to go see? Just got my grapefruit juice delivery. We got there. I drove for um, only a little bit of the drive. The rooms were ready when we got there, so we were all decided that we wanted to go to the beach. And... We had one room that we could put all of our stuff in, and all of us got ready in this one room. So I feel like if somebody walked in, they'd think it was like a brothel or something. It wasn't like a classy place or anything. It was just a red roof in. But we got there, and it was really nice. Uh, I got in the ocean, and my friend Ashley did, and we actually went swimming. Some of the other girls just kind of put their feet in. And the guys, like, ran in, and then they ran right back out because I guess they thought it was too cold. Also, some of the girls found uh, sand dollars on the beach. That night we went out after practice for like a team dinner, and it was a surprise place, but it ended up being um, Paula Dean's restaurant, which <laughs> I asked one of the cooks what on the buffet was vegetarian, and she just gave me like a weird look like, why would you even come here if you're vegetarian? I had macaroni and cheese salad and like sweet potatoes for dinner. It was really good food. It was just expensive because it was like special and a buffet and shit like that. Afterwards, we were going to like walk around stuff, but the one girl got um, an allergic reaction to the food. And at first, we asked her, like, did you try anything new? Do you Are you allergic to anything? And she said, you know, no, I didn't try anything that I'm you know, new or that I'm allergic to. And uh, there was a whole deal taking her to to one place that ended up being closed, calling a hospital that was closed, and finally getting to her uh, hospital was open so she could get, you know, an EpiPen and things. And they... She told them that she had a shellfish allergy, and she didn't think shrimp were shellfish. So that's why she had shrimp with lunch, and she touched, like, the sand dollars, which were leaching, like, iodine onto her hands when we were on the beach. And then she ate 15 shrimp, which she deshelled herself. Deshelled. So they're shelled <laughs> at dinner. But the person at the hospital was like, oh, well, you guys are from the north, so we wouldn't expect you to know that shrimp is sea or is shellfish. While they're doing that, uh, a few of us just went to Walmart to pick up some things. We didn't want to stay out and have a really good time without her. And their Walmart, I mean, Walmart is always sketch, but Southern Walmart is very interesting because the one, I'm pretty sure I maybe saw somebody steal something. She kind of like tucked something into her coat and just like smiled at me and was like, how are you? And then walked very swiftly towards the checkouts and door area. Not really sure, so I couldn't say anything. They also sold um, alcohol in, like, Capri Sun containers. It was, like, a juice alcoholic pouch. Oh, this is incredibly classy cocktails right here. They also had a huge bin of medications for 88 cents, which I feel like maybe is just an issue. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. So, got back, had our tournament the next day. First, D1 teams were D2. So we had some really rough games, but we played super well, and uh, we didn't win, but we did play awesome. The first team was pretty nice, the second team were super mean, and they were huge, and just tanked our girls. That night we just kind of relaxed as a team, we went out to 
there's like a river that Savannah is on, and we ate alongside there, and it's like cobblestone. It's really, really pretty. And also, um, besides there being like a lot of small um, parks and things around Savannah, there's also these trees that have Spanish moss on them. So they look kind of like willow trees almost to hang down. It's just gorgeous. The houses are definitely a style you don't see around here. Let's see, the next day of tournament, Raph was even like real nice and funny with us. So the other team did this thing where they said like air raid and everybody just dropped to the gr like, ground. And we did that with them. And then they had something else called four pit, which is where the hooker position in rugby, uh, she would like get down on the ground and then the rest of the team would pretend to hump her, which is it's not classy, but it was pretty funny. So we did that with them too. And at the end of the game, we were all saying, like, oh, my God, there's such a long drive. And we all, like, smell because we just had to get in the cars and go. And the ref came over, and she sprayed us with her, like, Axe body spray. So we would all smell halfway decent. And then the other team and us, um, like, played some games together, like Chicken on a Hill. And we, like, matched up with people from the other team. So we got, like, their contact info because they are really good times. Um, also, the guys the night before had some kind of scavenger hunt. And they had to wear the things that they found on the scavenger hunt. So the one guy, um, he's got some Italian name, I kind of forget. Uh, he was there and he had to wear, it was like a nighty, like a terrible grandmother typey nighty with a straw hat. And they made him touch judge for a game too. Um, there was a guy with like curlers in his hair. There was a guy with like a huge magnifying glass, one with like a mustache, like Mario. At the competition, there was, besides just a normal t-shirt vendor, there was a kilt vendor. And so there were tons of people in kilts. Like, I think I've seen more guys in kilts there than I did at Scottish Festival. There's a whole team of guys who were playing in kilts. Also, I troiled, 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 I boiled, um, <laughs> I tried boiled peanuts. And they were tasty. They tasted like beans, though, which was weird. I got home uh, by 7 a.m. And I had class at 9. So I just didn't go to that one. I went to my new one and all the ones after that. And I talked to my professor and he was all cool with it. So yeah, since then I've been trying to get back to a normal sleep schedule, which is, you know, kind of worked out. And that's kind of it. It's actually been really great weather in Buffalo, so I'm kind of excited to have that. And I'll be in New Jersey for the next week. See you guys.